I've reworked my IF amplifier board because I wanted it to be resonant and have maximum gain at 10 megahertz and the original design was right around the 5 megahertz range worked out pretty easy because I think I added two turns onto the inductor here just added two more turns to make it 32 turns and I left C6 off the board and that resonated out quite well at 10 megahertz and I could adjust the variable capacitor down there to make it resonate at 10 megahertz. We're going to adjust the IF response to 10 megahertz just by adjusting the capacitor on the board. Right now we're sweeping from 9 megahertz to 11 megahertz so what we want to do is have the peak back in here in the middle. So it's a simple adjustment. If you're using oscilloscope you could just set the frequency to 10 megahertz and adjust for maximum amount of signal. That looks pretty close. Doesn't have to be exact. Just knock the board out of the vise. We'll just let it hang there though. So that's pretty close. So now let's measure the gain out of the... We're looking at the input to the IF amplifier putting in a 10 megahertz signal. We set a reference level right here at the center graticle of the spectrum analyzer. What we'll do now is we'll look at the output and then we'll increase the attenuation on the input of the spectrum analyzer until we get back to the same point. Okay, if we look, we've increased from the center gradical 10, 20, 30, 40 dB. So that should be the gain. There's 20 dB attenuation, 30 40, so we're measuring about 40 dB of a 10. One thing I've noticed on this oscilloscope, here's our 10 megahertz, is if I run zero AGC voltage, you know, it's, it's not as clean, not real clean, if I increase the AGC voltage just a little bit, so I've got a little bit of AGC. cleans it up, gets rid of some of the oscillation that I would guess is, is just some oscillation in, in it. So right now there's 5.7 volts on the AGC input and it's nice and clean. See we're getting 2 volts peak to peak out of this thing at 10 megahertz. And as I increase the AGC of course I get less voltage and I can actually shut it all the way down this is about 6.5 volts AGC. So we can take and increase the scope input and they're just, there's just not very little voltage there at this point. So the conclusion I'd make out of that is I want to run just a little bit of AGC voltage on it and when we get it all hooked into the circuitry I'll test that theory again just to make sure that it works the way I think it does. So that's one more building block. That's the IF amplifier. Basically all we did is take and input a frequency from the generator and check to see how much output we got out of the amplifier. We tested the AGC line, adjusted the voltage up and down and we saw the effect of the AGC voltage. We have our IF amplifier hooked up. We've got an MC1350 in the circuit. I've had to remove the RF amplifier off the front end of the mixer because I couldn't get three boards to fit in my, my vise to hold them. So we just increased the level into the mixer a little bit more. But we're still putting our 14.2 megahertz in and we're mixing it with the VFO so that we get 10 megahertz out. What we're going to do first is set a reference level on the output of the mixer board. 
we have the oscilloscope combination, test equipment combination hooked up to the output of the mixer board and as you see there's nothing hooked over here the output of the IF amplifier. So let's take a look at the spectrum analyzer and set a reference level then we'll take and move the input to the test equipment from here over here to the output and we'll connect the two boards together and we can see the difference in output. So what we're going to do now is hook up the IF amplifier then we'll add attenuation into the input of the spectrum analyzer and bring it back down to the same point if we can. I can dial in 50 dB of attenuation into the spectrum analyzer over here on the dial right there on input attenuation. It's set at zero right now. I can dial that up and add 50 dB of attenuation and see if we get back to the same point. If we can't, then we can read divisions of the on the screen of the spectrum analyzer because each division is 10 dB. So let's change the hookup. Okay, so now we have the IF amplifier hooked into the circuit. Let's change the attenuator setting on the spectrum analyzer. Minus 10, 20, 30, 40. So we took out, we added 40 dB again and we've got about 4 dB extra here on the graticle. So it looks like we're getting about 44 dB of gain out of that amplifier. So I'm going to take and take the attenuation back out and I'm going to adjust the voltage on the AGC line. So we'll be able to see what the AGC can do to this circuit. I'm going to adjust until we start decreasing the amplitude and there's starting right there and I have 3.7 volts input at that point. So I've come down about 10 dB that's 4.1 volts, 4.2 volts, 4.3 volts, 4.4 volts, 4.5 volts, and that's as low as it wants to go simply because we're getting signal from somewhere else. So I can adjust it up and down using the AGC voltage. So that looks like that's all working. So I'm back at the initial point here simply by with the input by adjusting the AGC. There's with no AGC. 10 dB of attenuation, 20 dB, 30 dB, 40 dB. So we were running about 44 dB of gain on the amplifier and oh that's at 8.3 volts input instead of the 12 volts recommended. One thing I notice it tends to not oscillate down at this point so I think you could actually run this at eight, the 8.3 volts along with the rest of the system or 8 volts and be just fine. 